They have Google folders and OneDrive folders. Specific the child pornography call box launch. That's the name of the folder. Disturbing details of a thriving local pornography trade. Thousands of photos and videos of children and young girls shared daily, feeding the appetites of predators across the country. In an investigation over the past two and a half years, the foundation has uncovered the identities of many of these predators. Doctors, a lot of engineers and other police officers. So far that's what I identified. And these groups don't just share nude photos and videos. They go on the hunt for them. They even incite hacking. They incite people to go and prey on them to get nude photos from them. So it's like a sexual grooming, predatory environment where young girls and children are shared consistently to daily, every 24-7, they'll be sharing these, these things. With the use of social media, these vulnerable youngsters are an even easier prey. The foundation says every day, dozens of teen girls become targets for these predators, with their social media profiles being used to identify and harass them. Whoever well, shared that person, they would request a URL, for their Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram profile, they would then go on to befriend the person, or reach out to them, talk to them, whether it's blackmail, so a lot of victims said that they were being blackmailed off the bat by fake accounts that these users would create to then reach out to the girls. Um, they would uh, ask or harass them, ask them for nude photos, they would even prey on them if they are sexual predators. The foundation says there is insufficient legislation to protect children and young women from this type of predatory behavior. I think that the abusers find comfort in the fact that there is a lack of law empowering the police to investigate and they take a lot of, they take a lot of satisfaction in just knowing that nothing could really be done to them. Honestly, they have admitted that only they have spoken about it. CNC3 News reached out to the Child Protection Unit of the TTPS, but we are yet to receive a response. Charlene Rampasad, CNC3 News.